Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. At the end of episode 122, which is the one I published last, I swapped it over with 123 because I wanted, I thought the compact machines were quite important. Anyway, at the end of the episode I was trying to make these Cooper Nickel hoop heating rings and I couldn't do it. But, thankfully, Zero Life, Mr. Geridan and Crater Aid all told me what I was doing wrong. I should have had some copper in there. So let's cut into that first door. I've already made three. It's looking a little bit emptier, isn't it? Anyway, I cleaned it up a bit, and here we go. So here I've got some these Cooper on nickel ingots, and it doesn't actually matter which ones I use. Like that. And as you can see, it goes along quite fast. And you also see I've got a frequency modulator in my inventory. And that should be it. So now we've got our four. And in fact, that's it. We don't need this machine again. That's the only thing we make in this machine in this pack. Anyway, let's have a look at this thing. Now, the recipe for this is actually quite cheap. It's just one electronic circuit. And it makes this frequency modulator in the... Yeah, nearly, that's actually new. Because it wasn't like that before. It was quite expensive. And you put it in and you get your little antenna on your, on your helmet there. You can see it just on my top left. And uh, you can start to hear things better. Because we're in an ox sometimes we're in an oxygen bubble and sometimes we aren't. Which is quite useful. You can hear my footsteps now. Like that. Now, there's two things I've discovered since the last episode about um, these machines. And that's, let's get on and make this blast furnace as well. This one. And that's it, we've now got our industrial blast furnace. So, and then we can put that back again. I think we only actually need one of these machines. But what we also need is it's a multi it's a multi-block um machine. We need some um machine casings. Let's have a look. I think I'm not sure I've got them with me here in this casings. Yeah, we basically need some a standard machine casing, advanced or reinforced. And I think I've got them stored in here. Oops, doesn't open. Because <laughs> I put a compact machine on here. Is that a new one? So look, if it's a new, one. no, it's not a new one. Now the trick here is it might have stuff in that, and I'm not 100% sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade it. Now to upgrade it, you need another nether star. I think we saw the last time actually. And I've got a few nether stars. I made a few in the meantime. So you simply right click that on there. Now it's upgraded. Now I can break it. Like that. I can put it down. And if there's something in it, we can go inside and have a look. And yes, sure enough, what I've done here is I've created the. Um, enchanting room so now it's just an enchanting room good thing i did that because if i didn't do it then every single one of these items oops i must have just clicked that outside would have come out of the things so that's actually a good trick to upgrade to move it around you just basically upgrade it the other request i made was actually um on the issue tracker was if you could color the fake color the connectors which won't do that because that would make it easier than actually having to look at remember, look at the, the the personal shrinking device when you're actually inside, so you don't put things on the wrong walls. <laughs> right, next one I did was this one here. You see, all gone, all nice and clean. Let's click onto this one, go into this machine, and as you can see, we are. Ma I moved everything in here. Unfortunately, I've got a spark loader in here. And as far as I believe, you don't need a spot loader. But I think there is a bug report about it anyway. So I've got a spot loader in. So it keeps things everything loaded anyway. So in this one, of course, we're making scrap fairly quickly. I did a fifth laser and I actually connected it up. Now, there is something interesting in here. There's two things interesting in here, really, I suppose. This is a bit over the top. Let's go up and jump up here. Can I not jump so high? Oh, yeah. I have got a tesser energy tesseract. Well, if I remove the energy tesseract, like that, 
you'll see that these lasers will actually start to lose power. I think they should lose power, or something will lose power. Let's have a look. I reckon that these thermal cryostabilized fluid conducts will lose power because it doesn't get enough from the interface on here. This interface can own, doesn't transmit enough power. So if I put this back on again, I'm sure there's a cat. I'm sure it's just got a buffer of stored stuff in here actually, because it doesn't look as though it's going down, <laughs> which should be. Of course, it's not using any power at all. Now, actually, let's have a double check that. Let's get out the device, the multimeter. This is what we can see with the multimeter here. So it started tracking. So that's doing 8,000 RF in five seconds, which isn't very much. When you think how much, this is something wrong actually, it shouldn't be working like this. You see how much it's using. It's using three, well, 312, what three million, 3.1 million. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's gone down. So it basically ran out of power. So these actually can't transfer enough power. Whatever you do, they just can't transfer enough. And of course, we're not on the moon now, so I can't jump aside. So what I do is, look, I can actually remove all of this, because we don't need it, do we? I can just simply use the, the uh, Tesseract here. Now, the Tesseract does actually have enough power. Put it back down. And you see immediately those get powered up. So that's a, a useful trick. It means we don't have to put this anywhere except for connection to the a2 system where we can actually import everything so i think that concludes everything i should also upgrade this one i should upgrade all these machines because i can afford it with nether stars anyway so if i if by chance i want to move them around let's get another nether star out of here i don't end up with a big mess and lots of work lost so let's just do that like that now you see it gets that inner border, which is great. In fact, I could also remove all of this cryoflux stuff from going down that goes upstairs, but it doesn't matter so much about it. We'll leave that in for the time being. Blast furnace. Oh yes, it's upstairs, I think. I should have 34. Where have I put them? Maybe I put them in this chest. Here, here we go. Right, smashing. So I've got these standard machine casings. I made these standard machine casings earlier on. And we need to put this down somewhere. Now, you basically, it's quite neat. Actually, I've got it planned for here. Let's just take everything out of here. I've even got the, the ingots prepared in there as well. And forgot about that, of course. So I put the blast furnace that we built down here like this. And then click on it. You've got this A button here, so it's missing multi-block. You click the A button and it puts an image of what you've got to put down. Actually, it's not it's not as nice as uh, the mind confusion walls and stuff like that, it, but it's, it's reasonable. So basically what you do, I'll turn, I think I'll turn it off because I know exactly, it. it's in the middle of this, let's just turn this off. So basically it's one floor of nine, like this. And then it's walls like this and of course you can use the uh, super builders wand just jump up click. oops didn't work right on that oh it doesn't work oh of course it doesn't work oops so like that we can do that again go up here and then we can put the last two in here like that and then that actually then forms it doesn't give you a formation sort of pattern but it is formed let's have a look at this so there you can see it's now got power of course it has and it's it's not complaining so it's a fairly it's fairly expensive but i have already created the standard machine casing recipe in a previous episode so what we can do with that now is we can smelt the antimony ingots Ooh, that's a bit of lag. So I did one just to test it was working. So I've got 15 in here like that. So we can come back and we can put that into the blast furnace. Like 
look that and as you can see it's going down but it's actually not too slow its current heat is 1500 uh, 1360 sorry and what you can do with this okay yeah that was a laser what you could do with it, probably you probably can put extra side faces to this. So what we could do, therefore, is to remove this block here, and then just use some red flux cable. Let's see if that actually makes a difference. I'll throw in here the bag. Let's turn energy flux to. Let's take out four. I think we'll use like that, and it should make it go faster. If it's like if it's behaving like the other machines, now you can see the power is actually increasing. And what I was saying about these, these lava buckets, if you put, according to the wiki, if you put uh, two blocks of lava inside this, and in the middle of this two, there's two holes, it increases the temperature by 500 degrees. Well, it hasn't in this case. I, when I tested it, it didn't do it. So it doesn't, it doesn't help very much. So there we get our first antimony ingot like that. Of course, we can't speed this up, except for have multiple plus furnaces. Well, I'm not gonna do that. That's far too expensive in the first place. Um, but we'll come back to that in a minute, I think. Because what I want to do next is I want to just finish this off. I want to I want to show you this as well, but I'm not going to do that this episode. This is automation for the uh, for these two assembly machines, and we can make things go reasonably fast with that. But what we're working towards, let's go upstairs. Because what we're working towards, let's have a look at the quests again. There's only basically one quest, two quests left. And I think they're in take flight. Yes, there we go. So Warren Buffett, Fu, and there's another quest in here. So there's three quests to do. So basically Warren Buffett is make, making, um, making this advanced machine casing. So let's have a look at what we've got to do for the advanced machine casing. They're very expensive, I know that. So let's have a look on here for the advanced machine casing so we get one from there plus we have to make so that what we have to make is four reinforced machine casing and one super condensator the super condensator is two mach steel machine which is machine holes which is not exactly cheap rubies and that sapphire is no big deal we've got plenty, well, plenty of those and a superconductor, which is basically a a, a, gum, a drum of gold and a drum of rubber, makes one of those. Actually, that's probably not such a big deal. We could probably do that. It'll, we'll be able to do that, no problem, because it's actually, but it's very, it's very heavy in terms of power. Anyway, because we basically got to do rubber at oh, quite a high rate. Unless there's a better way of making rubber. And I'm not going to use the UU Matter way, I don't think. Because that's also fairly expensive. Because <laughs> UU Matter is just dreadful. Let's have a look how much scrap we've got as well. 2.8 million. In fact, it sounds like a good a good time to go and put this into the into that machine again and let's get some the matter fabricator let's see if we can get some more it's just here oh i need it in the interface don't i like that and that should start to bring stuff into here like that we can flip that in there as well and that'll be fast enough to give us some you matter by the end of the episode i hope so right where were where was i i was on this thing wasn't i So we need these these machine casings. So we need basically standard machine casings. So we need 16 of those. We can order that. A data storage circuit. That's basically emeralds around one of these basic circuit boards. We'll have to do that in another episode. Because to craft the emeralds is going to take a little bit of time, I think. It's not too difficult. And then the, the antimony ingots. We need um, 16 of those in that case. Let's go back. I don't think we need it for anything else no we don't so we should be able to make Warren Buffett with a load of emeralds and 16 cases now I can't remember how many ingots I had down there I think it was 15 wasn't it let's do that as well I 
double check that what I've got in there. I should have checked before I came upstairs, shouldn't I? Yeah, we've got 15, so we'd basically need one more. Now to make that was uh, eight more of the Hydra Tetra dust thing, isn't it? I don't have any, I don't think I have that one. Let me just double check it goes through this way. So the blast furnace in this one comes from tetrahydrate dust. So we need basically eight more of these. I don't think we have any tetrahydrate dust. Oh, we've got eight. Oh, perfect. Okay, good. Oops, I got a bit more than I went down to cut off. Let's take those out of there and then we can put those into the centrifuge. Now the centrifuge I might have moved or I might have even picked up. <laughs> I think it's down here still. I think I've still got the centrifuge down. Recycler, extractor. Because I was moving some of the compressor. I was moving some of these machines around like this. This is an import bus. So I think I had the comp the compressor there. Um, the centrifuge. Oh, I know. I have picked them all up. Yes, I have because I was tidying up. And I went around to pick them all up. So, But I should have some around. Um, not sure if they're in the system or not. Let's have a look. Centrifuge. No, nope, I can grab them though, but they'll be in are they in this bag. I think they're in that machine box upstairs. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got 14. I only need one. So we can connect that to some RF. No, I won't do it in there. I'll just do it downstairs. We can stick it on here, can't we? That'll get power and we can put these in there. It'll leave two, it doesn't matter very much. And that's working away. And that's enough power so we don't need to worry about that. If there wasn't enough power, this would be going down. So that'll give us our 16 ingots to make those. So we then need to craft up 16 standard casings. That doesn't look too much of a problem, but it will take a few minutes to make those. So let's have a look at what it's doing on here. Usually when I'm doing this stuff, it takes, oh, it's not too bad today. It looks like it's just making iron and gold and some more circuits. Oh, of course, those weren't actually craft because I've taken away the, I was going to take this lever with me, actually. Take this lever with me. Let's get back into this machine up here. Where's the thing gone to? I want that in the fifth place, really. So I'll have in one of these two here. Well, I made a mistake. I should have moved these with um, with the uh, place with the wand, and I didn't move them with the wand, so you lose all the recipes. So I've basically lost all the recipes, but that'll soon come through there. They, they get done very fast now, so we can wait for that. And I think that's all that was needed. I think I'm turning back on again. In fact, I was going to put the lever over here, wasn't I? To, just so we could turn it off if we ever needed to. If we turn that off now, see it's not it's not counting up. Put it back again. Now it's counting. So that will actually work in that place, which is also good. Let's get out of here again. So I do need to check those recipes once in a while. But at the moment, I really want the scrap because I really want the UU matter. So have a look. We've got 214, which is probably not going to be anywhere near enough. So let's go downstairs again. That should have finished by now. Not quite, 75% done. And in here, the blast furnace, we're halfway through, good. So, things are in progress. Let's check this one. That doesn't nearly, f nearly finish. We've got 15 scheduled. And I think that those are going to get done in, I forgot the recipe for that, to be honest with you. Let's have a look at the recipe for this one. 
Yeah, they're doing okay. They're being done in the assembly machine. I I think I've got it set up right. Let's just check. I'm not hundred percent sure. What I'm checking for here is this. This is the import bus. Here we go. I don't want to cover this just yet. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go through that process at another time. What I do want to do today, though, is this process. Basically, I was setting up what I want to do. And in here, I've got lots of leather armor that keeps coming in. The fact that it's now completely full and I, I'm stuck. I need to get rid of it. And leather's a pain, and I got tons of it. And I don't like throwing things away, to be honest with you. So I thought I was trying to work out whether it is possible to automate those so that you could actually craft them back into full armor without too much complication and i think i found a way so the first thing you had to do and i'm not exactly sure if i want to do that this episode i don't i'll do that next time because it's going to take a while to do it and i don't have that much time so but i would like to just finish one of the other quests today while we're waiting for those bits and pieces to to make there is another quest we can complete and that's one of the crystal crystallized quests and i want to get the tomb of knowledge in fact i need to do both of these i need to get the naquadar that's new and i also need to want to do this so we need fifteen hundred dollars so let's have a look i think i did prepare some of this get rid of these ingots as well but i don't need those with me got 65 in there I've got a full chest of them I think it's here yes it is <laughs> so this is a hundred dollars that's three hundred dollars five hundred dollars I've got two five hundred and I think I need about that much let's do the team of knowledge first I think that's the team of knowledge oh, 500 okay let's do that yep in fact, what I'm going to do, because I've got too much on me, just in case. Oh, yeah, I've got two. Just in case, I'm going to put these back into here. Like that. And then do the quest. I don't want it ever to take two. Detect it. Let's claim the Tomb of Knowledge. Done. And I'm not sure if that opens up anything else. In terms of... There's the, there's the recipe. Let's have a look at this. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, that must be must be useful for something. So I don't know what it is yet. I have to do some research. Or I'll wait for you to tell me what I do with it. <laughs> hmm. Unlocks transmuter when learned. Okay, so it's going to be very important for doing this Nakwada and stuff like that. Let's get the Nakwada out of here as well. So we've got three hundred dollars there, twenty dollars. Let's take that. Five hundred dollars. Yes. Okay. Let's craft up some more dollars. Um, I won't do that there, because I'll do it on a standard crafting table. That's the best way. Let's just a recipe for that one. Let's see what we got. Another 13. That's good. So there we got 25. So if we make that to... Yeah, of course, it would always do it this way, wouldn't it? That'll be $120. a hundred dollars what do we need that's four hundred dollars I've got now that's a twenties and tens that's another ten that's another twenty that's four so I need five hundred dollars haven't got enough have I I'm sure about what that's five and three is eight I need twelve more dollars huh If I'm not mistaken, we'll sort my inventory now and go back over to the crafting table here. Fifteen dollars. That's the five hundred dollars. That'll be 
a thousand dollars. Well, one thousand dollars. <laughs> I should take a screenshot, so that shouldn't I? Anyway, let's claim that quest. If I press F1 like this, I'll do. Oops, that doesn't work. Does it? it disappears. You can actually place it as well. You can press P and it places it on there for me. And I take it off again. I think I bash it one. Hopefully, that's all I have to do. Just like click it. <laughs> Oops. I got it. Right. I'm glad I didn't lose that one thousand dollars. It would be painful. Let's go back to the quest. That's strange. Done that one. So we want to do this one here. In fact, I have to reset this quest to get the Nakwaga because I've not completed it. This was completed before. Um, but I have to be admin to do that. And I don't want to just do that at the moment. But you can see I've got the thousand dollars. I will do that between or prepare it for next time. I'll put it in here. So let's go downstairs again and see what we've we got now. We should have those things completed over here. Yeah, we've got our have some money dust in here. And we've got our 15 in here. That will take those out and we can use those. And let's take the rest of the stuff out of here as well for that matter. And put those back into the system. I can actually put them to the system in here. I've got an import. I've got an import on this chest here. So let's just put those into the system like that I think will do so now what we want to craft we'll wait for that last one but we'll, we'll get on and do this we've got I should have some standard machine casings now how many have you got one <laughs> right I'm going to wait a long time for those but they'll be processing and they'll be in the assembly machines. In fact, they should be doing two at a time. Let's have a look. Oh. Well, that's the pattern for it. Unless I'm mistaken and it's slow. Let's have a look at that again. I've still only got one. Why? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, because it's crafting these. I don't think the basic. Yep, they should be. It's just slow. I need to get these iron plates made to craft the machine casings. But it's crafted ten of those, and it needs sixty refined iron plates. Okay, that will actually be still being processed. Actually, it's over the other side now. We could go and check it. Oh, it's that way, isn't it? I don't think there's anything new in the factory since the last episode. But as you can see, I frame rate after moving those into them into the machines or has gone up a lot I'm still getting a few jumps in there but I don't think that's related so in here we should getting these things going ah it's a bit short on power that's the problem huh okay that's what's going on here why is that short of power I think because I've got a test rack powering everything in here. Where's it gone to? And these two are just powering the A2 system. Yes, yeah, so here's the test rack here. What I can do is move the test rack, which I'm tempted to do, and put it on these machines here. So let's just break away these. One of the problems is, oh, it's got aluminium wire. Well, that's fine. Let's just break this one here. And bring up, oh, that's a, that one, that's an RA. Okay. Well, that should be, should be okay. Let's put the test right down here. 
Uh, let's see if that helps this go faster. Oh, it's already finished. <laughs> okay, good. Let's put these back. Yeah, it's the third. Oh, that was the third one, wasn't it? Yeah. So that should, in fact, then be crafted. Let's have a look at this. Yep, we stored those. The only thing it's got to do now is to make these basic machine casings. What's the recipe for the basic machine casings from? The industrial craft. I think those are industrial craft. Ah, oh, assembly table. Right. So I was hoping for it not to be doing. Let's go back again. Because it's a bit difficult. But scrap is fairly important in this thing, so I don't really mind going back and just turning on the that machine again. And the footsteps on the metal, <laughs> that's quite good. Um, right, it's in this one, isn't it? Let's go back into here. So let's, I'm not sure which one it is because I don't think it's turned on. Oh yes, look. So let's turn this off. And let it get on with that one. And once it's actually started up, I can turn it back on again. When it does something. Well, that was fast. Don't expect it to be as fast as one flash on that thing there. Right. So where are we now? Let's have a look. Have we got our casings back again? Ah, yes, now they're being processed downstairs. Let's go and check that out. See, this is a... So that's waiting in this router here. Hopefully it doesn't. So we should have a look. This one's got four in it and 64. This has got three in it and 64. So hopefully it goes into the right one when it's finished. I've not tested this that, that hard, but I've been working on it. You see, this is also powered up and it's actually the rate goes reasonably quickly, even though I haven't got, I've, have, I've got four sides of this covered. So there's one side underneath with power. As long as these things here have got enough power in them, which you should have. So let's take out the multimeter again. I can get rid of some of these things in my thing, so I don't need that and that on me. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put the buckets of lava at the moment. We'll put them in here, look. And the chest can go up there. So let's have a look at this. So we shall start tracking this one. And then just a few seconds later, click it on. So that's using about... Actually, not very much, is it? 963 RF in five seconds. 994, so basically it's a thousand RF. Okay, doesn't seem particularly a lot. Oh, so that's good, that went into the fourth one of those. So in here you'll find a block of iron. And the iron can only go into slot machine filter. So that's going into slot zero on that one. Um, and the, oh, yeah, that's right. And when they get fi finished, they come into this one. But I was going to say I'll do that later on here. So I've got two little projects I want to show you between in the next episodes. So we'll do that then. I'm just about finished. So hopefully, I would like to do these advanced machine casings, but I think I'm going to run out of time. I'll tell you what, I'll do. I'll do a quick pause. If I get back into the room, of course, I can walk <laughs> again. Right, I'll see. If, I'll have a look at this thing. I'll see you in a few seconds when this is done. Well, this is taking a bit of time. What I'm going to do. So I'll ignore that for the time being, and we shall go and finish off. I've reset the. I've made myself an op. 
at the moment. So what I want to do is reset that quest. So let's have a look at that first of all. The one I need to do is Outer Rim, which is the one for Naquadar. And if you look on here and you press Shift, it tells you which number it is. So it's 44. So we can press Escape. Now what we can do is we can do slash PQ Admin reset 44. And that should reset the yep, has reset the Outer Rim quest for everybody. So let's have a look at that again with the quests. One thousand dollars. So I should be able to now detect it. Doesn't look like it's detectable, so I don't have to click it in. Detect it. Oh, have I got a thousand dollars with me? No, I haven't. What have I done with a thousand dollars? Ah, put it in here, didn't I? <laughs> Oops. Let's try that again. Detect and claim. So now we can do that one. Done. So that is now completed. I now do have this Naquadar in here, so which is great. So 200 million EMC, which means it's going to be expensive to duplicate. I reckon just by instinct from the pack, everything takes forever. So that's all coding for the machine casings. Oh, it's still making this. Oh, probably there's a mistake. This is one of the things I'm a bit worried about. Let's just double check this. Yeah, that's got three in, and this has got oh two in. And it hasn't got enough steel blocks for some reason or other. So look at this one. Oh, that's showing steel blocks. That's a bit weird. Seems that the recipe seems to have gone not one hundred percent correct. Got left five. Tell you what we'll do. We'll cancel that. We'll make the other four i think there's four to make i've got 11 and we need 16 no five is correct yes let's cancel that it says it was crafting four anyway well, let's just start this again put those into there and let's make the advanced machine casings is this one is the one i want oh it's reinforced sorry nope it's the standard machine casings. I'm not 100% sure why that failed. Because they should have come into here. So that's got 64 and 2, that's correct. And this has got 64 and 3, which is not quite right. But it's there should be another one stored somewhere in the system. There we got 32 and that one the 32 in here should go across into one of these and i don't know why they didn't do last time anyway on that note i'm going to say bye for now and i'll see you next time next time we're going to have a look at doing that armor i think because i've got stacks of this leather and i want to get rid of it and we should also start to do the emeralds automation as well so until then bye for now